And a new co-housing community for seniors is coming to Roanoke. Co-housing is a growing concept countrywide, focusing less on the size of houses and material things and more on community togetherness. WSLS 10's Allison Wickline visited the property in progress today and has the story for us tonight. From here to just about that flat spot. This Northwest Roanoke property is the future site of the Spirit Serve co-housing community. Co-housing is a new idea here in the Roanoke Valley. It's all about living within your means and needs and having a close knit community of people with similar lifestyles. And it makes sense to downsize while you're still active, you know, because once you go into a co-housing, most people can go in the co-housing and stay there the rest of their lives. Spirit Serve is the brainchild of retiree Paul Wire. In 2013, he saw a similar co-housing complex in Abingdon and was immediately on board. From there, he started looking for other co-housing cohorts and found Maureen Aaron. Like a lot of older people living alone, I have far too much house than I need, and, and likewise, far too much stuff. The Spirit Serve community will have 30 private units as well as a common house where residents can mingle and visitors can have a private place to stay. It's better to give than to receive. And the idea of being able to help someone who's a little more needy than I, physically or spiritually, uh, is extremely appealing. And I hope there are many people who feel the same way. Wire shares that hope. The property will begin taking shape at the end of 2017, and he has some goals to meet before then. And we're trying to get the last uh, uh, 14 uh, home buyers to buy in you know, to see the vision and, and want to come join us. A site of sharing still in progress. In Roanoke, Allison Wickline, WSLS 10. And the residents of the Spirit Serve community will also share utilities through their HOA fee, making monthly payments less expensive. To learn more about the community, visit our website, WSLS.com.